There's this funny fact that a lot of people in the far left understand themselves as anti-globalist and pro-internationalist, which baffles me from time to time. As an example, the Social Democrats over here in Austria started a campaign against Starbucks because they use international laws to practically avoid paying taxes in Austria because, let's face it, they are pretty high over here and it's more than convenient to pay them more or less anywhere else in the world. By the way, it's the same party that is now the senior partner in our government of two parties, so you might say, okay, if you don't like it, change it. And this is what we say over here, but well, this would seriously hurt the tactics of the social democrats who demand more or less the same stuff since over 100 years and when they are in power they change absolutely nothing. However, they argue that this is globalism and therefore bad that companies who act globally can simply put crap on national law, which means they can make money here but don't pay taxes here. And you know what, I agree. So globalism is bad. Internationalism on the other hand is good because nationalism is bad. So riddle me this. If there is no nation, how should companies be forced to pay taxes in the nation they act in? Globalism and internationalism are in essence the same thing. The one emphasizes of course the money part and the other the people part. The thing is, those two often come together and both are very important for those 3000 people who own more or less the entire planet. But it is essentially if you say, okay, here is a plate of noodles and this over here, that's a plate of bolognese sauce. And since every child knows that noodles and bolognese are not the same thing, these two pictures can't be the same. And that's silly. Just because you emphasize one part does not mean that there is not more to it. And both internationalism and globalism follows the same idea. Demolish the idea of the nation, go back to the system we had before that. Empires of rich people who were in total control over their subjects. The only thing that changed is that we used to call them kings and now we call them director, CEO and major shareholder. And that's the point where we have to go back to the idea of the nation, think about it. The idea of the nation is not to conquer the world under the flag of your nation. Because this is how it is portrayed. No, no, no. It means the opposite. The idea of the nation is that simply put, similar people conglomerate in one spot and live how they please and stay the heck out of other people's affairs. The idea of the nation is rooted in the idea that we are all different, which means that humans are diverse. Globalism and internationalism and international socialism is rooted in the idea that we are all the same, want the same and want to live in the same way. And I said it before and I say it again, this ends not in no borders, no nations. It ends in no borders, one nation, one ruler, one law. And this is essentially to understand, if you want to crush the nation, you crush also the idea that you could tax local people to use the money locally to do local stuff. Without the nation, there is no local anymore. Everything is international, everything is global. There is then no here and there anymore. Everywhere is anywhere. And you see, this includes anything that has borders, countries, counties, states, nations and safe spaces. None of this has a legitimation to exist then anymore. Borders are not a bad thing. Borders make it possible to let capitalist states exist peacefully next to communist states, atheists next to theist states. If you scream free Tibet, you mean that you want a border between China and Tibet so that the Tibetans can live like they want. Think about it. Nations are not bad per se. Nations are just bad if they adopt the idea of internationalism and try to take over other nations. Thanks for watching. Please like it if you liked it, share it to bash this idea into the skulls of other people. Many thanks to my patrons and have a wonderful time.